ladies and gentlemen, for the 880th time, it is the Mason and Friends Show featuring that dude called his Junus. What's up, yeah, cheers. As well as myself, Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. We got 879 of these motherfuckers. The amount of dumb shit, bullshit. You ain't lying. Ignorant this shit. Bullshit. Retarded shit. Excuse me for all the people that find offensive when I say retarded. Sorry. Well, retarded shit. Sorry, not sorry. Unbelievable shit. Absurd, yeah, obscure absurd. shit. And, um, conspiracy. Uh-huh. Ethereal shit. And factual shit. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, it it's, gets a little bit crazy, crazy on here. Man. It's crazy, man. A little wild. A little bit, uh... A little wild. A little bit, uh... <clears throat> hallucinatory, perhaps. Cause ain't can't no quite tell what's real. Can't quite tell what's not. It's gotta be a- anything and everything. The amount of shit that we've covered in 879 times. So you think we're like the Simpsons? Like, we've covered it all? We're just recirculating you back across? We have damn near... It's wide... The scope is wide. It varies, bruh. It's got to. Because we do repeat ourselves from time to time. Uh-huh. But but it's often we're delving back into a subject that yeah, there's maybe, really repeating ourselves. There's maybe some new information. Yeah, and then it, we just, yeah. Yeah, it just resurfaces. Like the glove was found with different fingerprint uh-huh. shit. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah. We're like an episode of Clue. Yeah. More materials found. Let's bring it to the table. All right. We can debunk that and move on kind of shit. Right, right. Well, we want to get into it, though. We want to see what's going on out there. Well, yeah. We got to make sure we get our shit together. We got to make sure these sources are vouched for. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, these sources may be. Or at least interesting. They got to be at least interesting. Because this, this, the stuff, you know, like things come up. Things get thought of. Like... I have all kinds of things that I think of, and I'm like, ah, oh, we can talk about that on the show. And sometimes I remember it, and sometimes I don't. But like, then I've got things like right now. I, I, I wish I could have Mike here to talk to because, like, I work with a lady, right? And she's built in a manner that I'm not particularly fond of. But Mike would be. You know right. what I'm saying? You might be too. Who knows? She all pretty, right. she pretty thick. All right. Right. And she's not a bad-looking lady. She's not. She's not a mean lady. She's not angry. She's a very nice person. <laughs> but she has a voice that is like I could um, I could unbearable? Un, I mean unfucking bearable. Not not even in like a After like how a sc- long? like that for, like right out the gate. Instantly. I couldn't Immediately. T- if the voice oh. if the voice said something that would normally make my dick hard, I'd be like I got to go. Like it's fucking bad. It's like she's like the loud bitch. What was that? The no, loud it's bitch not even... on Seinfeld. Who was the loud bitch on? You're something? thinking of you're thinking of Friends. Friends, the loud bitch on. The Friends, loud bitch yeah. on Friends. No, it's not like that. She's <laughs> she's got a childish voice. Oh. And wow. it's fucked up. So I was like, I was looking at her one day, walked by, and I thought, man, Mike would love that. And I was like, but Mike, man, who could talk? You can't have like, you can't have sexy conversations with a woman that has a a childish voice. It's a real problem, dude. Yeah, that'd be a problem. It's a real fucking problem. But I t- regardless, I wanted Mike's input on the on it. So, Mike, I know you listen to the show, so we'll have to we'll circle back around to this one too. Yeah, you can answer this back on on uh, next week's episode. Yeah, yeah, this is a throwback. Don't forget about this early on in the Thursday episode, Big Mike. You gotta know, like, what would you like? Well, are, are we? I guess it's, is it still gonna be a Sunday because it's Labor Day weekend. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah, uh, it's Labor Day weekend. Are you up for Saturday? I think Saturday I got that. I think Saturday we got that party. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the thing going on here. What time's that happening? No, that's the weekend after. I think. Oh yeah, it is the weekend after. Uh, I think that. Uh, I think we're going to a uh, pool party over there, kids. Saturday. Probably not Sunday. Probably Saturday. I gotta look. 
but I'm off, so I'm off Monday too. You probably got to work Monday. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and Mike's gonna probably work Monday too. I would suspect. Probably. But uh, so we could probably still do Sunday. And I was thinking probably be an early 10 or 11, because this was a, supposed to be a late day to stay, because Mike, Mike's children fuck, flop back and forth one week to yeah, the next. Yeah, he got the kids this weekend, so, doing, so, early, yeah, we so we, we could probably next. do an early next week. Probably more likely. That See, Mike, right. there's all sorts of stuff to be involved with, thanks so, to yeah, you listening. So yeah, can answer that Sunday. Yeah, talk to us. It depends on what that thing was working with. If it was... Right. I think he had some cakes. I, I think he would take the voice. You think he'd take the voice? Yeah, he would take the He voice. takes the voice. Yeah, he would deal with it. Wow. Depends on how good the snatch is and how primed up that thing is. That thing got that apple bottom figure, big. Like, well, I think he's gonna, that... He's going he's gonna, to... He's gonna, I, I couldn't, though. I'm telling you... Know you how I can't with dumb bitches. But that's low mileage. She ain't dumb. She's a nice girl. Yeah, but, but, but like... But, like... That's, but that's low mileage pussy, I guarantee you. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I bet it's that, uh, you know, clean car scent. Yeah, know? dude. New car smell. Yeah, new car smell. <laughs> like, that's how vagina's supposed to look. <laughs> With all the right colors. <laughs> Everything where it's supposed to be. Yeah, everywhere it's supposed to be. No extra shit. <laughs> Not that way over here. Oh, God. No, no, hang way down no, here. No beef curtains yeah, all over the place. Yeah, what are we doing? down here. You're picking this up. <laughs> Hold on this thing, huh? <laughs> Hold on this thing. <laughs> you get this side. I get this side. <laughs> we can't uh, put out this shit come together. It's like, oh, that's how that's supposed to look. God damn it. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. <laughs> Shit ain't right. Oh. Yeah, so Mike, we're definitely circling back to this one. You gotta bring this back up. We'll bring it back up. Yeah. But yeah, put a pin in that. Marker. Put a marker in that. She she young or she's older, you said. Oh she's older. I mean she's like probably I don't know, 35, 45, who knows? So I mean she's old enough for like a grown ass man to be dating. Yeah. Age one. Like everything lines up as far as like Anything. <laughs> Technical legalities and all that things aside, there's a voice problem there. And like, <laughs> like it's bad. I don't even want to impersonate it. It's bad. You know what I mean? I don't want to do an impersonation. Uh, yeah. When Mike's here, I might. But like, it's <laughs> fucking bad, dude. It would be a problem. Yeah, I can't deal with problem voices. Yeah, I need a voice that can say sexy things that I can be aroused to and not like, yeah. oh, whoa, hey, you get away from me. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I can be like, just close your mouth. Yeah. Close your, don't say nothing, Stop baby. Stop talking, baby. Stop talking, baby. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Text. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that's too much, man. Your mother. Yeah, he'd be like, um, I'm gonna need you to. I got a mute fetish. I like girls that are mute. Don't say nothing. God damn. Hey, say that boy, when there's just two of us, it's a real pain in the dick when you interrupt the show. Oh! Figure it out. Hey! Independence! Huh? Oh, Lordy. Figure it out. It's supposed to be hot this week, I think. They talking about. Yeah, that's that's certainly better than the last week, in a sense, if you like summertime. Well, I think that's about it. I think it's going to be like, cause usually we get like, it's, it's hot, and then we get like a week or two of fall, and then we get like a week or two of summer again, and then it's just fall from there on out, so. That's about what I'm expecting. I'm thinking in the next five to six weeks, things are going to start getting chilly. Consistently. Well, I'm thinking less than that. I'm thinking it's going to be right after Labor Day. Huh. It's going to go back to how it was like last week, like 60 at night and fucking 80s during the day, 70s and shit. Yeah, but hopefully we get a month or two of that. And not like a couple of weeks of it and then jump right into winter. Yeah, that, that, shit, sucks. that sucks. Yeah. It always sucks when that happens. Yeah, that would not be nice. That happens a lot. It seems like. 
I don't know, not lately. I feel like when I was young that happened a lot more. It'd be summertime and the next thing you know it'd be cold. You go to school in shorts, come back and be like, all right, well I'm going to one more pants tomorrow. It was immediate. I don't know, I never disliked fall though. I like fall. And you know, it's harvest season, what, right? Like, what's there yeah. not to like about it? Yeah. All the vegetables. Yeah, all kinds of good shit. Thanksgiving comes along, you get some pumpkin pie after some, the only time it's good to eat turkey with some cranberry sauce. Like, I keep it simple, man. I keep it simple. Like, I don't like turkey, but like, nah. I like turkey when it's, you know, roasted and, and it's and it's Thanksgiving and it comes with all the other stuff the turkey yeah. comes with the Thanksgiving. But I don't like it enough to be like, let me get some, hey, it's January, let me get some turkey. Can we roast a turkey? Like, psh. Anybody asking for that shit in yeah, March? I don't really fuck with turkey. You know what I, I mean? I don't really. I mean, I, I don't even turkey. like it as a deli meat if it's sliced. Like, I'm not particularly fond of it. Yeah, I don't. It's. I eat it like I said, of course Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? But I don't. I don't. I don't really. It has limited appeal. Yeah. Turkey is a limited fowl. But it, it has. It pales in comparison to chicken. That's awesome because I haven't. I ain't really cooked too much turkey. So, I don't really know. Well, you fry stuff, right? I bet you if you quartered up a turkey and fried it, I bet you you'd do it good. Oh, that'd be delicious, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I bet that'd be good. You fry anything, that's going to be delicious. Because frying, you really don't need much uh, seasoning. It's a magical thing yeah, you to fry. Let, let, really let the oil, let the meat cook itself, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Usually when I fry shit, like unless I'm battering it and shit, like when I do wings, when I do hot sauce and barbecue sauce on wings, I just throw them things straight in there. I don't do no salt and no pepper. And then when I make his ass boneless, boneless barbecue wings, I don't put no seasoning in there. What do you shit. just take chicken breast and chop them yeah. up? Cube chicken, like what you do. And then, that's what the boy likes. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what boneless. Bonus That's what he thinks of it as. Bonus, bonus barbecue wings. You buy the, the fuck like, a, like a pile of chicken that's wrapped in the deli section or whatever. Like yeah. at a grocery store. Yeah, it's just a chunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slice it up. Yeah. It's like on the styrofoam it, yeah. with the plastic over it. Yeah. Wow. yeah bonus, bonus wings, that's all they are. But that's cheap, right? By comparison to the stuff with wings or with bones in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything with a bone in it is more expensive. Well, hell, don't complain about the boy saving you money to eat like a No, no, I, I don't complain about that. I just don't like people referring them to wings. It's like, it's not a wing, it's a nugget, bro. Yeah. They don't make wingless, boneless fucking... You remember in the Far Side bitch. comic strip? Uh-uh. It was like always a single square and it would have some random shit going on, right? And they did all sorts of just absurdist humor. You know what I mean? Like the school for the uh, school for the gifted, and it says pull on the door, and the kids pushing on it. Yeah. And it's just a single frame, and that's all you see. And so they they do funny shit like that, but they had the boneless chicken farm, and it was like puddles of chicken, and there were like beaks, eyes, and feet sticking out of like puddles of chicken. Just there were chicken <laughs> puddles all over that's the place. Cool shit. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Like you Google the boneless chicken farm far side, <laughs> and 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 you will you will be delighted. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do the same damn thing. <laughs> I haven't seen that comic strip in years, specifically. Far side, one word, F A R S I D E. Boneless chicken farm, I suppose, would. Boneless chicken ranch. There we go. Boneless chicken ranch? Yep. It's just chickens laying around. No walking, just chicken laying around. Yeah. Shout out to the far side. Come on, Aaron. And who was the Gary Larson? Shout out to Gary Larson. <laughs> hell yeah. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but yeah, hell yeah. That's, so yeah. I just, that just irked. That was just one thing that always irked me whenever. You know, well, you're very into semantics. Motherfuckers are talking about you know, chicken wings. No, no, I want a real chicken wing with a bone, motherfucker. A real wing. I, I ain't picky. I don't, it don't have to be flat. It don't have to be a drum. I want it to be a chicken but wing. But that's got like tendons in it, and you like that. Yeah, that's where all the flavors are, yeah. too, with the bone. Yeah, there's stuff in there that makes it more than just chicken meat. 
and a bone. Yeah, the bones, the flavor, bro. There's, there's other stuff in there. Cartilage and tendons and yep. other delectables. And then you want, the, I think the, the, hit, the hot lick though, they say it's a crack the bone. Cause then you get some of the marrow out. Oh, hey now. Okay. So like, like if you're you, doing a stew? Like for like the stew bone that you'd be putting into the stew? Yeah, Break if you did that like, a, uh, beef, like a beef stew, where if you just like put a whole fucking rib, well not so much rib roast, it would work for like uh, they, I seen a one chick on on a cooking show do it with chicken wings. I was gonna say, why wouldn't you do it with your chicken wings before you fry them? You could like do as that. you're battering yeah. them, you get them in something, you give them a little crack. And well, then you got mainly, that. I think it's just like for like a soup, because if you do it with that, that's just gonna. Um, I guess it's gonna cook through. But I guess you could scoop. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, I guess throw them motherfuckers still... in the uh, fryer. You know what I mean? Like you guys, you're prepping your wings, you're cracking them, crack, dip, batter, whatever, drop it in the fryer. I mean, literally, like, all the way through. Yeah. It'd be probably tough to, like, figure out a process that would do it right. Or maybe you just throw, like, a wing in one of those, uh, one of those, uh, lemon squeezers, right? You know? And yeah. you just give it a punch, and give it a little squeeze, and that fucker will, you can hear it crack, then you drop it in the thing, <laughs> and batter it up, and then you throw it in the grease. Bam. There's your process. Because you got to come up with a process that's not going to mutilate the chicken. Yeah. But break the bone but not also hurt you or come apart on the in the chicken enough yeah. to be like a negative thing. Yeah, where you got like pieces of bone on Right, shattered more. chicken bone in your wings. That ain't gonna be good. No. See, there we go. We just found our likely culprit problem there. You're setting your business up for failure if you're breaking your chicken wings before you're frying them. No matter how delicious they're gonna be. Because <laughs> some fucker's gonna choke on that shit and blame you. You're gonna be like, it yep. was part of the gig, it was part of the fucking, you know, the appeal. They say they break their chicken wings before they fry them, and they're more delicious because the marrow, and they were delicious. That's the name of the place is marrow. Marrow chicken. Marrow. Marrow chicken wings. <laughs> and everything's the color of that marrow fucking couch of yours. You got that blood marrow couch up in that motherfucker. Everywhere. <laughs> Couches matching. Jews marrow chicken wings. People are like, oh, what's that mean? To worry about it. Get your ass inside order. Hell, something. what you do is you get beef bone marrow and you inject it into the wings. <laughs> Problem God solved. Damn. That's the shit right there, dude. I'm telling you. I want those wings. Like, you get it, you, you break that marrow shit. Marrow filled chicken yeah, wings? Yeah, marrow filled chicken wings. You get an injector and you inject the chicken wing with the beef marrow. Because, dude, marrow's Bang it, man! That shit's good. Throw that shit on a little toast. Delicious. A little piece of bread. A little something. All kind of options. Garlic. You can fuck it up all kind of different ways, man. Marrow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they. Yeah, they be. Yeah, they be. You inject that shit. that shit. You put it into the clarified liquid, and you inject that shit into the chicken wings. That could work too. Yeah. It'd be delicious. Like, in the, it, gotta get thick chicken wings. Hell, you do that with turkey legs. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. Deep fried turkey legs with beef bone marrow injection. There you go. Son, we just fixed turkey. Yeah. Just put some flavor. Just in put that. some beef in that motherfucker. That's a fucking, mm, tell me, gourmet. See, this is why I don't work in kitchens and restaurants and shit, because I would lose my, I'd be doing I would lose shit. my shit. I'd be like, hold up, we got to clarify this here now. I need to get this here getting good here. I thought about this yesterday. We're going to have to go ahead and try this. Yeah, I'd be like, you know, we got these beef bones with all the marrow in them. Well, I think we're going to have to scrape some of this marrow out and turn it into liquid. Inject it here into these goddamn turkey legs. And then deep fry these turkey legs. Yeah, I, I'm down. I'm down. I mean, yeah. That's the worth. That's worth a whirl. It's a process. Dude, you could run a food truck off of that alone if you could make them good. If, if, you, could, if you did yeah, that and they were delicious, out. motherfuckers would come from miles around for that shit. Oh yeah. Like I seen something. I can't think of the name of the food truck, and I don't want to promote it because they didn't pay me. But they had this thing, and you bring in your own bag of chips, right? And they cut the bag of chips open and they pour in all of their fucking stuff. They get like beef or chicken. They throw in like about a pound of chicken on top of your bag of chips. And then they throw in like lettuce and cucumber and tomato and like different sauces and shit. It looked pretty good. It's like 10 bucks. I'm like, that's a deal. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. 
It looked fucking good. But you know, it's also gimmick, right? So is it Wait. as good as it looks? But it all depends on the chips I bring. It definitely depends on the chip. That's the whole base. That's right. The chips is what I like. So if I bring uh, chips that I like, I should be golden. Like, here's a fucking bag of, you know, uh, those Cantina Tostitos. Oh, yeah. Yellow turkey. Or yellow, yellow corn. Yeah, sir. Hook that shit up. Because I don't need a whole bunch of stuff going on when they got all the flavor they're adding to it anyway. Yeah. I don't need, like, a bag of, like, Doritos. People would be bringing in, like, yeah, hot chili yeah, nah, Cheetos yeah. and shit, and I'm like, y'all are fucking crazy. Nah, you shouldn't be doing, need to do all that. Yeah, I don't want all of that involved with it. I'm not that much of a heathen. I don't need, uh, I don't need nacho cheese Doritos with all that other stuff on top, on top of, of there. Nachos. Yeah, give me some plain tortilla chips. I'm down. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit did look good though. I gotta give him credit. I could start a food truck in, a, in another universe. You know, in another multiverse. I'd have a food truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey. Uh, fuck, we missed it from the last episode. Big homeboy. The the, the, the homie Nate had, the, uh, had himself a couple of stand-up comedy things he's doing up here in Hoodbridge yesterday and the day before. Tuesday and Wednesday. Nate, he's coming uh, week. Nate. Don't wait, call Nate. Don't wait, call Nate? Yeah. He's going to be around at Woodbridge. You got me to stand up? Yeah, that's what he said. He says he's going to be up here doing some stand up. When? Tuesday and Wednesday coming up. Would have <sighs> been, this is a Thursday episode, so it would have been yesterday and the day before in Woodbridge. Seven, eight, something like that. Damn. We might have to roll out. You're probably busy. Tuesday, yeah. He said he's doing Tuesday and Wednesday up here in Woodbridge, someplace. I'd look it up, but it's a day too late to promote it. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Damn it, Nate. Fucking, uh, Lisa trying to fix her, uh, trying to cut her grass. But, uh, but the tractor she got uh, she don't know if it even runs so now she's over here trying to I guess trying to jump start that motherfucker <laughs> and I don't even know it's got gas <laughs> I don't even yeah, know what. that's not a late Sunday project so that's a late Friday it off for, when, when I was down there last weekend when I tried to fix everything I ran out of time trying to fix it cut the grass so she's been trying to get the grass cut with the lawnmower that came with Not the property? Really. She's just now trying, yeah, there's a, there's a tractor that came with the property in the, tra in the in the little shed, and she ain't never got to start. But it don't, I think it's just the battery's dead. It probably need a new battery. But it probably needs a new battery. It probably needs all the gas out of it, new gas in it. Yeah, probably has to be some siphon it out. It probably needs some sea foam in the gas before you start it running out. But I know her grass has got to be crazy, so she's going to have to cut it. Call someone, Lisa. Pay someone to come mow your lawn that has a mower that shows up and mows so you can get your mower going. Quick fix. Yeah, that'd be the best bet. Get back on square one. Yeah, man, I was cleaning up shit, throwing things out, getting it in, man. Doing my thing. Trying to live, trying to live better, man. There you go. Trying to live better. I'm a heathen, though, so it's difficult. I mean, you got to live, too. Yeah, technically speaking, I am still alive, so I guess I better live. I'm trying, man. She's fucked up out here. It's hard for a pimp. It's hard for a pimp. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's for damn sure. We ain't been... I ain't been doing shit, like I said, the job. We finishing that up. I don't know where I'm going next. I don't know. Well, they're going to put you somewhere, but hopefully it's close and not far. Because they got work all over where you work, right? It's pretty much. I mean, right now we got like work out of like Leesburg and then um, Fort Meade. I definitely don't want to go out there. That sounds far. Yeah, it's 75 miles. Shoo. One way. Fuck, dude. And then you got to get there. An hour early, cause you gotta go in the uh, the drug turks side. 
side where you gotta pull your car in and open the doors. Yeah, they put the things under it, look for bombs and all all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so you gotta add that in play. Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, shit true. Yeah, I prefer, I don't know, I think I prefer the other places that I've heard about for, for working. Yeah, I mean, that place sucked, you know, I just hide my bowl. When I'd go out there, I'd hide my bowl out in the rock over there by the Hardee's. You know, right outside the gate. <laughs> and then that worked out for you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, right on, man. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring it in there. So you'd have a jar with bud in it, but not a bowl. I would probably, I would, I had like a little bag, I think, at the point in time. Like I'd smoke a joint on the way up there. Then I'd have like my bowl or in a joint for after, for something for the way home. Uh huh. And then that's when I had to go on that side. You know what would be when an I had to go on the other side where you just show them a little badge or an ID and they just let you ride on in. What would be an amazing I business, didn't worry about that. but like way too obvious would be to set up like a, a small, short time storage place across from there where you could just come in every day and have a locker. You know, like drop your shit off. And yeah, just drop your shit off, go to work, come back, pick your shit off. <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta go in there. Oh well, here, load it up in this locker. Yeah, I mean that's what I would, that's what I would do. Like I said, that's what I would do when I go on that that dog shirt side. Call it thirty bucks a month. Give me five bucks a day. We don't ask no questions. You know, like, we don't even you, have cameras up. Yeah, it's ten bucks a day, but you could sign up for thirty a month. Sign up for the 30 a month, and what would you coming in here the next five days? Well, that's going to be 50 bucks, 10 bucks a day. Or you can sign up for the month to 30, use it for the next week, and uh, you're still getting a better deal. Sign up for the month, even if you never come back. If you do a month, you work up there for six years, doing it monthly at 30 bucks, that's a dollar a day. That's a great deal. Mm -hmm. Great deal. You can't beat that. I imagine the government would look into something like that, though. If I was making like bang up business going on, I would some, think so. Some cheap shit right across from the military <laughs> base, just doing daily storage. What do you mean daily storage? I mean you come in here at 6 a.m., you put your shit in your locker. Come in here at 6 p.m., you pick your shit up and you leave. That's what I mean. Yeah, bitch. It's daily. open 24 hours, man. Yeah, there's cameras. I'm keeping an eye on shit. It's a charge or anything that's held for more than a day. That's right. If you don't come get your shit back, we keep your shit. We, we take keep it. your shit. That's part of the fucking contract. After a day, we just keep your shit. That's right. We run also a small eBay business where we sell random shit. We sell it out back. That's right. <laughs> yeah, if you know us. If it's illegal, we just, you know, yeah, we so get rid of it alternative methods. Back. What if it's a cell yeah. phone or yeah. something like that? That's going out 15% market value right Damn out the Damn right. Door. We wipe that motherfucker and put it on eBay. <laughs> As refurbished. <laughs> yeah, but I put on a, a uh, UV light machine to make sure that it's clean, and then I sell it on eBay as refurbished, with no box, no packaging, refurbished. No package. <laughs> a little saran wrap on. Yeah. All the Android things are gone, and then in one day, out the next, bam, boom, out of here. Yeah, dude, that's a solid business plan. You always wanted to, like, have a storage unit facility and then have, like, a thrift mart. And when you leave the <laughs> storage unit to go through your storage stuff and put the good shit in the thrift store. Yeah. And then sell the unit off to somebody at auction. That wouldn't be That'd bad. Be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's where you'd have got your couch. I'd have got you a better deal on your couch because of that kind of shit. Yeah. We're like, yeah, this is a good couch, man. We're going to put this up here for 150 bucks. I would get him a better deal. I'd be down to the restore every day checking out the competition. I'm going to have to bring my couch prices up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to look for something for that one next. Yeah, that's going to be hard to find matching stuff. I ain't worried about that. Clearly. But the brown and red are not too far off. Yeah, it ain't bad. That's not too bad. It's not egregious. Yeah, no. It ain't ideal, but it's not egregious. I'm going for comfort. I'm not going for... This ain't no Price style. is Right yeah. set. They don't need style points. Yeah. That's some fire stuff, though, man. I miss my 70s couches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they got a lot of good shit down in there. But, uh... It comes and goes. I've been in and out of that place. Yeah, a lot of shit. It, it's crazy. They move a lot of shit out of there. And they seem to move a lot of stuff at that uh, Salvation Army joint around town, too. 
the other side of town. Yeah, I've never been over there. When I looked, I was going to go in there. There's all sorts of stuff there. Around by. It doesn't look nearly as um, nice as the stuff that's in the other one. But then if you go to like the uh, the Blue Ridge Hospice joint up in Front Row, uh-huh. they got some real nice shit up there. Oh, they got that. real nice stuff. He yeah, is up in the corner where Peebles used to be. You know where the Martins is in Front Royal? Where the Royal King? Yeah. It's in the corner of that shopping center. All right. Bangs. That's the spot. You go there, you find yourself a couch way nice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Front Royal? Yeah. They got well, a lot of variety of shit up there. I'm I mean, sure. it's the it's the hospice, Blue Ridge Hospice thrift shop. They're like a big... Oh, yeah. They're they got, big time, and they got, like, yeah. nice stuff. Yeah, they do some transportation. They are doing some transportation, mm-hmm. for sure. Hundred percent. You got to know where the good thrift shops are. Yeah. Because there's dirty ones and there's clean ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like a wide variety. Like you go to a Goodwill, like that's a gamble. Yeah, that's a gamble. You know, you might find something nice. It might be dog shit. That's be, yeah, yeah. It's like, what is this speck? What are these speckles? Oh, that's My dog shit. I work with. He, he, that's all he ever shop at is Goodwill. He always be showing up with these jeans. He be tripping out. He got these. He held with these wide leg jeans and then the back ass pocket, like he'd be like seven inches by yeah, like yeah, twelve. The, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, God damn. You put a bro. two liter bottle yeah. in the back pocket. I'm like, fuck, man, look at his pocket, bro. Yeah, dude, that's all the rage when we was in high school. <laughs> he'd be tripping me out. There was a yeah, there's a lot that, that shit goes back. Dude. He's like a dollar. <laughs> it costs well, like dude, a dollar. You like know like what back mean? in the day I had the uh had the soap shoes. Uh-huh. Like you could like grind on the things just yeah, with yeah. the shoes, and I've recently sold them on eBay. And the dude that bought them from me was literally in Culpeper, it, like randomly, like bought them. And I was like, "Yo, know, I could mail these to you, or I could just like meet you somewhere in town." And the dude was like, "Yeah, I live here. Just meet me here." And I was like, "All right, bet." So I just brought the shoes, and the dude walked up, and he had the wide leg pants on. I mean, he looked like he walked out of the 90s and I was handing him this shit. It was the weirdest fucking thing, dude. I was like, oh, damn. you look like the world I lived in when I bought these. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Don't break your neck, dude. And here and then. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. But yeah, my boy, he shops, he says he shops there for, I guess, all the shit there. Well, I've got a lot of, like, I got a lot of shirts that I've bought at that Blue Ridge Hospice thrift shop over a long time. I mean, I could, I could rock different shirts for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Like, that nice is. button-up shirts. I need to go get some pants. For real. All my shorts, man, all my shorts be getting dirty and old, dog. Yeah. I'm, I haven't bought shorts in a long time. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta... I'm gonna have to go through the sweatpants this year, I think, and throw out all the young shit I got. And <laughs> start over. Get that old terminology. Gotta get rid of these young pants. Mm-hmm. Yep. Except, but that's what, I don't know about pants, but like all the shorts, all them fucking kids like short, like short ass shorts. Like it ain't like back in the day, we was always and one, so I'd be below the knees. These motherfuckers be like in. The new kids? Yeah, like track, track shorts, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. They like mean, 70s shorts? Yeah, like dick out pants shorts, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck, you know? Yeah, watch out your nuts. They'd be like the rolling them shits up, trying to make them come like... higher and shit. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with y'all? Yeah, you know, kids be doing some weird shit, man. Yeah, they're lunching. Parents never like what kids do. Nah. And it's always some, like, it's just some rejuvenated shit. They're just going through, like, 70s styles nowadays. That's all that is. There's some chick that walks around where I work. She got on the bang, the bell bottoms and everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, bet. Do you? Yeah, do you, girl? Yeah. I think, actually, there might be two or three of them that wear the bell bottoms sometimes. Because that shit cycles back every 20 or 30 years, man. Yeah, bell bombs, yeah. Yeah. They never go away. It's not a bad style. Nah. Like tight tight legs to the knees yeah, and then flare out. Bad. It's not a bad style. Girls look good in it particularly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, ladies, they be looking nice and all kinds of shit. Yeah, that's true on that. They don't take much. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put yourself slightly together. You'll look fine. Yeah, you got it, girl. Appreciate that. Right? Taking it too serious, ladies. Yep. Not that big a deal. It ain't that serious. Nobody's nobody's that concerned. <laughs> it ain't that serious. It ain't that serious, ladies. Wow, so serious. <laughs> yeah, they're too serious. You ladies are too serious. You need to relax. Yeah, they're like the Joker. Why so serious? <laughs> like, why not? Why aren't you serious? What do you mean, why am I not serious? I'm just trying to have a nice day. 
Exactly. I thought that was the name of the game when it all started. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the name of the game is at this point. People don't want to be happy. Well, they definitely want something to bitch about. That might be what it is. They want to be happy, but they want something to bitch about. There it is. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we've solved problems here at the Mason Show. See, that's what show. It is. Just figure it out. That's it. Don't worry about it. this way. We got it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to, like, just complain about things. Something to complain about will show up. That's for sure. That's what I think the real issue is with people that I find. Like, yeah, why you want to... Why you got to look for shit to complain about when things to complain about are going to show up. It's just going to come your way if it needs to. That's it. It happens. If not, then you ain't need to know about it. Right? There wasn't no need to complain about it. Raise any kind of agitation up about it. No need to step to that. That's just foolishness. Let's just all relax. Try to enjoy ourselves. Wait for something bad to happen before we get upset about it. Exactly. See that? Hear that? Yep. Huh? Wisdom. <laughs> Dropping that knowledge. <laughs> just chill out, man. More wisdom. The old carpenter son came by for the last episode. That was good. Yeah, man. He seems to be enjoying having the kids and the grandkids and all that shit going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's family mode now. My God. Family mode man now. Mm. Full effect. Fully fledged family man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know you're a family man when you be telling people you're a grandpa. Like, hey, you know, I'm a grandpa, right? Like, dude, how the hell old is that dude? I didn't. I should have asked him. Like, uh, Carver's son, he's hey, 40. So he can't be 40, over, like, 45. Yeah, under 45. Yeah. That's, I mean, hey, right on, man. Get started. Ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is get started. Uh-huh. Throw some bone marrow up in them turkey legs. And them girls is like 22 and 18 or 19, I think. So. Yeah, motherfuckers, people get going, man. People be making more people. Yeah. Apparently it's a lot easier. That's not a bad... It's an easy thing to do if you like it's put your young, mind young, to it. It's young, but it's... It's young, but 20-ish well, it's see, bad to have kids. Because you can fucking roll with them, you know what I mean, a lot better than opposed to if you start at, like, 30. Absolutely. Like, I wouldn't want to start now. There's no way. Like, yeah, because by the time you start running at 15 or whatever, you know, yeah. you're going to take a nap. I'm going to be like, y'all need to chill <laughs> yeah. out, dog. I ain't going to nap. I'm trying to smoke this joint, take yeah. a nap. Y'all want to do all this running and shit? Can y'all count the fuck now? Yeah, I'm not doing nothing. See, that's a young man's game. Having children is a young man's it's game. Grandma. Like, you know, you having had kids at such a young age... When you see a 20, 22 year old having kids, you're like, ah, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, that's fairly grown. And I, I think it really is because you say you're, you're still like, when that fucker hits his teenage prime, you're still going to be in your prime. You know, what I mean, right. you're in your low thirties or your mid thirties, well, still ready like to the fuck shit, something up if you have to. The shit that you've got to do as a parent to have a kid, run around picking them up, wiping them down, spraying them off, feeding them. Working whatever the fuck you got to do to get it done. Like, especially this day and age. It's definitely a young person's game. You better get in it in your 20s. You better get at it before you're 20 or before you're 30. Start having kids if you really want to have them. You better get at it. Because by the time you're 50, you're going to be fucking tired. Tired as hell. Yeah. So it'd be nice if them little bastards could get some work done too. By the time you're 50. (laughs) You'd be like, yeah, see that, you little fuckers? Get yourself a job. You're going to put yeah. in. You're going to be buying the fucking you. Yo, you were yeah. in the grocery store. You better bring home some fucking toilet paper. Yeah, I don't know. That boy in there, he always talk. He's been talking about working. He ready to start working. I'll put him to work. Well, he, ready to get, he wants to get a job. That's what I'm saying. Let him so, get a job. I think he's like 15 and uh, six months, I think. Did you get a worker's permit? Something like that. Well, good on him, man. Let him work. If that's what he wants to do. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shoot him down. What's somebody else I gotta fucking drive around for a little bit? He's ambitious. He'll get a bicycle. He'll be like, fuck you, Dad. I'm hopping on a bike. I'm riding over here. Stay off the main highway, boy. He gonna go work a Safeway probably with the other one. Hey, if you can get it in like that, nepotism helps, y'all. If you can work it out, let it. But yeah, you about that.
We're gonna be a big old party when that motherfucker graduates, though, bro. I don't know where yet. I'm throwing a big ass party. You gonna get like a hotel going? Like rent out a hotel for the weekend? <laughs> nah, I ain't big. gonna do all like Are that. Are you gonna go to like the lake or something? Rent a house? Nah, because I wanna have. A, I wanna. What I wanna you? like rent the fucking. Rent like a legion. Like a moose lodge for the day or something like that. Uh huh. And just have a big ass cookout. Just chilling. It'd be nice if it had a pool. Hey, right on. Look. See? And there we go, y'all. We really, figured out something. Really do something. But yeah, because. I don't know. You say he will, he moving too when he, after he graduates. He said he going down to Florida, so it's going to be a graduating and. and, uh. Peace. Oh wow! <laughs> Party. That oh, wow. Yeah. So you get your house back by then if the older one get, leaves. <laughs> he he was talking about um, getting a spot with all of his posse, but he he's ridiculous. He's talking about he said there's like four of them, and they're looking at three bedroom joint. Where like, what? He's like, yes, yeah. so I'd be like in the living room. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you going to uh, die that? No, you don't like, need that's a, you what you've been a, living like. Yeah, you don't need to pay quarter rent. Yeah, on you've the, been you living on the couch. quarter ways, but your living room. Like, yeah. what are you going to do when you got to go yeah. fuck? Like, you've been living on the couch, dog. Or boys' room or nah. the bathroom. Like, come on, bro. You no need good. a goddamn room, dog. Yeah, if you want to live with your friends, y'all got to get a four bedroom. Yeah. It's just yeah, like so that. So good luck. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a tough life, man. Yeah. Things sucks. You need to find your three bedroom maybe with a garage with a garage that you could turn into a crib. You may insulate the fuck out of that garage door and never open it. That'd be miserable. Try to sleep in the garage? No. <laughs> it only be cold at night. Shit, cold that's when you sleep in. It only be cold in the wintertime. That's some bullshit. But nah, I'd get a little pellet stove in that junk. <laughs> Dude, that would be getting laid kingdom right there. Put a pellet stove yeah, in that you put a pellet stove in that motherfucker. Put carpet floor right in that yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Put a pellet stove right <laughs> yeah, in that yeah. motherfucker. You put a pad down, or carpet floor. Stove, put a bed in. Throw in a pellet stove. That would be the hot lick. Get a little wood, wood stove with a little pellet stove. Yeah. Like a little joint you had up there in the yeah, bucket. Yeah, uh, you have a little cutout yeah. around it that's not carpeted. Yeah. And yeah, that fucker just going, man. The bitches would love that shit. Oh, yeah. They'd, they'd tear it up, bro. They'd be warm shit to you. You just seen the garage naked all the time. Damn, all Skippy. I'd be like, you better not come in here without knocking. Watch out. Let me throw on my robe. I'm wear clothes out I'm here. I'm gonna have to throw on my robe. It's hot in the summer and it's nice in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get me a duck list for the summertime. Mm. I'd have the full on. I'd have a duck list in there and I'd have the fucking pellet stove. And I'd run the duck list because it'd have heat and cold, right? Uh -huh. So I'd run the heat in then with a little bit of pellet stove going. So I'd have my multi supplementation going on in the winter. And it'd be psh, killing it. This. Killing it. No matter what temperature it is. Yeah, ready for action. What are we doing? Talk to me. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's a very doable... Uh, aspiration to have yeah but you got to be in it to win it with the homies that are willing to get you that kind of spot if you don't have that kind of crew yeah they're all like yo we be living in this three bedroom and yo you can get on the couch for 400 a month yeah yo man. fuck you yeah. it might sound like a hundred dollars a week but that's a problem that's a problem man that's just a problem 400 a month 400 a month anything less than like maybe 20 dollars a month <laughs> you know i give you like you gotta you gotta fuck with them that's what the boy would need to do if they were like, yo, you need to get the couch for 400 a month. I'll be like, Psh, I'll give you $140 a month. They'd be like, whoa, we can't take that. And I'd be like, well, I can't give you 400. The fuck is wrong with y'all? You know, and they would like try to negotiate and shit. I'll be like, man, fuck that noise. I made my offer. You don't want it. That's cool. I, I got a spot to stay. I got a couch on, on yeah, the, in got, the living I room got, to stay. I got somewhere to be. I got a nice new couch, blood red. What's up? The boy like that couch to sleep on? I don't know yet. He ain't, he ain't complained or said anything good or bad. I don't think he slept on it yet because I, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, no, I got it Friday. And uh, Lisa brought her, her boys up. So all three of them were out here and I put uh, Frat Boy in there. 
Uh, so frat boys slept on that bed. And then last night we stayed at fucking kids. I think he stayed in that bed again. I don't think he slept on this bitch yet. Uh, I didn't think he sat on the motherfucker yet. Yeah, man. No wonder he's like down with a fucking couch on somebody's living room for like hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, after he's living like, like dude this. on the, uh, on, on, uh, was it, uh, guy on the couch. Uh, 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 half baked. Half baked guy on the yeah. couch. That was uh, Stephen Wright. Except he got a job. He like leaves. He's not always on the couch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's better when you're literally on the couch all the time, always. <laughs> <laughs> like you have like muscular atrophy from being on the couch. You're so much guy on the couch. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's some live action right there. Dude, when you're living on the couch like that, I, everything is live action. Yeah, I can't imagine. I, I mean, I always had a room. Like when I wasn't at home, when I was out in places, at my own place, or was out with the homies, like I had a room. Never was on the couch. I've slept on, couch. on couches, but I've never like lived on the couch. Nah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, I've never, yeah. Like I haven't been there. I haven't been living uh -uh. on the couches. I haven't couch surfed. I mean, even when I was out staying with the Cuzzo in Vegas, I was staying. In a room. In a room, yeah. Yeah, I had a room and a bed. You know, that was yeah, yeah, I got, fortuitous. Yeah, I got lucky. Cause like, whenever I go down to the beach, I was the same way. If I was staying at staying at my brother's, I had my own little room. But, you know. Yeah, man, we're spoiled, Jew. Yeah. We're spoiled. That's what happens. Yeah, you reach a certain age and you're much less willing to sleep on the couch. I still sleep on the couch. I was, I was I'm looking saying, at this motherfucker. I think I might be laying on this motherfucker. I'm saying you are not going to pay somebody to stay on the couch. You're going to pay to be in a room in a hotel or an apartment, excuse me, you know, with three motherfuckers with rooms where yeah. you're sharing a bathroom from the couch. You got to keep your shit in like a foot locker. <laughs> Yeah, you like got your shit just over here in the corner. Yeah, you got in just a box. yeah. There's a dresser and a foot locker. You got, you got four outfits you can wear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You go to the fucking laundromat with a box. You don't even have a bag. You just show up with a cardboard box. Put everything in at the same time. You got your lights and your darks all in at the same yeah, time. Yeah, one layer. You got your colors all up in there. Up. Yep. I get this special kind of ALL that works real good for this. It doesn't have to be separated. Non-separated A-L-L. -L. That's how mama washed it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, <laughs> we're going to bring this episode of the Mason and French show to a close. <laughs> oh, man. We'd like to thank oh, you man. so very much to, for listening. Encourage you to listen to old episodes as well as new episodes. Like, share, subscribe. Um... Be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh, keep grinding on the shit that you're trying to get done because that is how things get done. Mm -hmm. Don't forget we love you very much and we wish you nothing but the best and peace be with you. Peace.